November, the last month of autumn, but the beginning of a new adventure. Time to take a risk and do the unexpected. That beautiful quote is written by an unknown author, but I love it because it pretty much explains what my November is going to be. It is going to be a month of adventure and I'm gonna take a risk and I'm gonna do the unexpected because I am reading lots of books in the month of November. I am actually participating in three readathons. Hi, I'm Kat. Welcome back to Kat's Novel Adventures. Okay, let me explain to you why November is going to be an adventurous reading month for me. Generally, I read anywhere from five to six books per month. In the month of November, I could possibly be reading anywhere from eight to ten, and that is because I am participating in three readathons. I know that sounds like a lot, but two of them actually happen to be overlapping. So let me explain to you the first one. It is the More Montgomery Challenge, which is for you to read books by L.M. Montgomery, the author of the Anne of Green Gables series. Uh, there are nine prompts on a bingo card. Some of the prompts are bookish, and some of the prompts are for you to watch a movie or a TV show based on Ellen Montgomery's books. This challenge is being hosted by Mitzi over at Mitzi Reads and Writes and Elizabeth over at Lizzie Faye Loves Books. I'll list both of their channel information in the description below. So let me get ex um, started with this uh, challenge and explain kind of what has been going on. Um, it has gone on since September, like I said. Um, I only read one book so far in this challenge and that is because I read during the month of October a lot of spooky books for the spooky season. But in September, I actually read Anne of Avonlea. This, um, is going to fulfill the prompt of reading an Anne book. If you've read all of the Anne books, then it's a free space for you. I read Anne of Green Gables for the first time in the month of June, so it was only fitting that I read the sequel um, for this challenge. Another prompt is a standalone novel. So I went ahead and picked Kilimany of the Orchard. This is a YA novel. Um, it's also probably got a lot of romance in it, which is totally out of my realm of genre that I like to read, but I'm willing to give it a chance um, for this challenge. The next prompt is um, a short story collection. So I went ahead and chose Among the Shadows. This is 19 tales. They're a little bit darker than what the author generally writes about, but it should be, you know, a good time. I like spooky stuff. I like darker stuff. So I think this will be right up my alley. Um, this was actually recommended by Mitzi over at Mitzi Reads and Writes, as well as Kilimany of the Orchard. Then I need to read um, a book from a duology or a trilogy. So I went ahead and I got um, the first book in a trilogy, an Emily, it's the Emily series. This is called Emily of New Moon. Um, now, when I went ahead and bought this from Thrift's book, I did not realize that, I mean, it is written by Ellen Montgomery, but it has been adapted by another author called uh, Priscilla Galloway, and this is for younger readers. So this um, is another children's lit um, selection, but that's fine with me because I read a couple of children's lit books uh, during a month anyway. Um, then they have a retelling or anything related. So I went ahead and got a book called Anne of Manhattan. And this is by Brina Starla. And it seemed pretty interesting. Of course, it is another uh, romance, uh, which I'll be reading a lot of romance in November, obviously. But it says, after an idyllic childhood or girlhood in Avonlea, Long Island, Anne has packed up her trunk, said goodbye to her foster parents, Marilla and Matthew, and moved to the Isle of Manhattan for grad school. 
Together with her best friend, Diana Barry, she's ready to take on the world and find her voice as a writer. So I thought it sounded pretty interesting and um, I'm gonna give that one a whirl as well. Um, then you have to read a nonfiction or biographical. So I went ahead and purchased The Life of L.M. Montgomery. It's called Maud, The Life of L.M. Montgomery. And this is by Harry Bruce. The book is beautiful. I ended up getting this one. Actually, I got all of my Anne books, except for my Anne of Avonlea, from Thrift Books. Um, and they all came in pretty decent condition. This one looks practically new. Um, so I'm excited about reading that. I love reading nonfiction books as well. Um, then there is to reread or to rewatch um, a favorite. Well, I'm just getting started with the Anne series. So I you know, don't have much experience. I haven't read much of um, Ellen Montgomery. So I've decided I'm gonna try to go to the library and see if I can find like a picture book or something that's related to the Anne series. Maybe even see if I can find a picture book uh, retelling Anne of Green Gables. I think that would be um, pretty fun. Um, as far as um, the prompts um, for the non-bookish, they have watch any non Anne adaptation, watch any Anne adaptation, um, or you could rewatch a favorite. So I haven't decided on what I'm going to do as far as uh, movies or TV series, um, but I have a little bit of time before I get there. I think I want to go ahead and read my books before I actually uh, watch any of the adaptations. So the second readathon is called uh, the Nostalgic November Readathon, and this is being hosted by my good friend Kelsey over at Slime and Slashers. I'll link her uh, information in the description below. And basically, it is prompts that um, have to do with nostalgia for the 80s and 90s. I think mainly the 90s. I do not think I will be able to fulfill all of the prompts, but I have chosen three books right off the bat that I think um, I, I can at least fulfill three of them. And if I get towards the end of the month and feel like I can add some more, I'm, I'm gonna try for sure. Kelsey always puts on some really great um, readathons. Uh, so the first one is a female author or a woman protagonist, and she has like a little picture of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, who is awesome. And I decided that I am going to read Nothing But Black and Teeth. This is by Cassandra Ka. I've been wanting to read this book for a while, so I thought this would be perfect to fulfill that prompt. The second one is Witches of Magical Elements, and she had Teen Witch in the box for this one. And I decided I'm going to read Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. This is also um, the selection for my November um, book club. Uh, well, it's my book club's November selection is what I should say. Um, anyway, I'm super excited about reading this. I've seen the movie and it's been quite a long time. So I do remember bits and pieces, but not all the details. So it'll be fun to visit the book. This actually is also part of the series. It is a first in a series. And then my third choice will be for the retro, vintage, or mood read. And basically, you read a book that is from 2000 or below, or it's set in the 80s and 90s. So Kelsey and I have this fun reading project we've been doing since January, and it is um, A Year of King. So we have basically been reading a book or a short story by Stephen King, one each month, or short stories we've read a couple in a month, and then we watch the screen adaptation or adaptations, if there's been more than one uh, movie or television program that's been uh, made based on the book, and then we get together once a month and we have a live chat where we talk about both the book and the movie and how we feel about, about them both. Um, so for the month of November, we have chosen The Dead Zone. So this is going to be my metro, my metro, I'm sorry, my retro mood read. Uh, basically, I was trying to make a word between retro and uh, mood read. So that's how I got metro. But anyway, I digress. 
Uh, this is going to be the book we're reading for um, our November Year of King, and I thought it would uh, fit perfectly uh, for the prompt um, that Kelsey's doing in November for the nostalgic uh, November. Um, lastly, um, a friend of mine that teaches over at Holy Ghost School, her name is Melissa, um, she teaches seventh grade language arts. She has decided to challenge her uh, students with a readathon in their classroom, and it's tied to Accelerated Reader, which is basically a program where you read books and then you take a test um, after you read the book that uh, basically is checking on your comprehension. Um, I actually personally love the AR program, and even though I'm not at Holy Ghost anymore, I still participate in it because I actually like taking the test. Um, she's doing a book challenge. She didn't have necessarily a title for it, but her book challenge is for the second quarter of the school year. And so it actually already started in October. I haven't done anything with it, um, yet. Um, so, but it does go until December. So I do have some time and her prompts are to read a book outside for 15 minutes. So basically anything that I'm reading for the other two challenges, I can um, use one of the books for that. Read a book that has a mystery to solve. As of right now, I don't have anything picked for that, but that probably will be something that I read in um, December. Um, read a genre that you have never read. This is gonna be kind of tough because I feel like I've pretty much read a, a book or a story in all the genres. But the more I think about it, maybe I could read a Western. I don't know, I've never read a Western before, but possibly I could check that out. So I'm gonna have to do a little research on that one as well. Um, read at an appointment, like if you're at the doctor, dentist, ready to get your hair cut, whatever the case may be. I always bring a book along with me because you just never know how long you're gonna wait. So one of the books that I have already picked out for November will qualify for that. Read a book just because it has an amazing cover. Well, guess what? I'm using Cassandra Kaw's book for that because this is an amazing cover. So I'm definitely gonna count this one uh, for that prompt. Um, read a book from a series. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Emily, or I could possibly use Practical Magic because they are both the first in a series. And I plan on reading the other book you know, books in the series. She has three more um, spaces on the card, and one is a free space. Uh, if you um, finish your AR goal by November 7th, uh, you don't have to read anything special for that. I've already done that, so it'll count as my free space. Then she has to read a book suggested by Mrs. Morrison, which I will have to get with Melissa and find out um, what she thinks I should read. And her final prompt is to read a book a classmate suggested to you. So I need um, a suggestion because I don't have classmate, but I do have you out in the booktube community. So if there's something you think I should read, um, please make the suggestions in the comment below, and I will be uh, greatly appreciative of that. So there you have it. That is my November TBR, and I'm looking forward to uh, reading everything that I have picked out. In the meantime, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you being with me um, on this new adventure, and um, all I can say is stay amazing and be adventurous.